morning, friends. I hope you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Kansas City. It's only 66 degrees. Do I always start talking about the weather? How old am I? Yeah, I probably do. But it's beautiful. Yesterday was awesome. We went to Kansas City Zoo. It was great. But Maisie has a ENT appointment today um, to have her hearing checked. And then she's she's had tubes and she was 80% deaf. I'll tell you the story like as I'm doing my makeup. So I'm just going to put my makeup on to get ready to go. And I'm still wearing my jammy shirt. So this is not the shirt I'm wearing. So this blue color will probably not look good with the green eye I'm going to do. But here we go. Um, so I'm going to start out with my infallible um, makeup. Should I do my eyes first? I feel like I should. Let's do eyes first. So let's put a little e.l.f. primer on just to kind of prime the lids. So I'll tell you the story about Maisie. Okay, when Maisie um, was born, they do this infant um, hearing test on them, and she passed. So um, I wouldn't think anything about it. It's funny because I actually took sign language in college for three years. Yeah, three years. Was it two years or three years? I think it was three years. At Maple Woods, I'm drinking a huge thing of water because I feel very dehydrated. I have for like the last couple of days. And if I get interrupted, it's because the twins are here. Yeah. Yeah, I just like my fingers to wipe that off. So anyways, we were noticing that she didn't dance or move to music. She wouldn't watch TV. And this was around, I think, age almost two. Maybe before she turned two. So we noticed that. And I didn't think much of it for the longest time till it just seemed like something just wasn't right. And I was like, oh, something seems off. I'm just going to go in with like, actually, I'm going to take this Mar palette and I'm going to go with this brown shade and just kind of put that in the crease. It's called Sorbet. So we um, were noticing that she just wasn't like... Playing with, playing with music toys, anything that made noise, she just didn't really want anything to do with it or even notice. And we would say her name and she wouldn't look at us. And I was like, just having this feeling like, hmm, what if she has hearing difficulties? I think somebody else actually mentioned it to me and I was like, I think you're right. So I made an appointment for her to go to an ENT and Marley's already had three sets of tubes, her adenoids out, um, her tonsils out. So I'd been down that road before. It was nothing new. Is this lighting good enough for you guys? I'm just kind of putting that all in the crease. Um, and so we took her in, and she was 80% deaf in both ears. Light bulb. No wonder why she doesn't like any of that stuff or play with any of it or watch TV or dance to music or not answer when we said her name. Um, she would, but you'd have to say it three or four times. Like She would just be staring. And, you know, at first we thought, oh, she's just so intrigued with whatever's going on that... That's why she doesn't do that. She didn't look at us or anything. And no, she was 80% deaf in both ears. So I feel like it's not bright enough in here for my own liking for like putting on my makeup. It feels like it's dark over in this corner. So I'll probably have like one really dark eye when it's not one even. The doctors are not going to care, I promise. So um, we were like, okay. And the lady, the doctor, the lady, the random lady said she needs surgery. So the doctor said, you know, she needs surgery, and so we'll put tubes in, and then we'll retest her, and I don't know if that's because there's fluid behind there. I don't remember all that. I just remember her saying this is what she needed. So I'm like, okay, I'm just taking a clean brush and just blending this out. And so we were like, okay, that's great. We'll have the surgery. And, like, immediately after the surgery, like, within hours, well, not immediately right after hours because then she threw up all over the back of the car. And she did not do well when it came to, I'm going to take a darker, it's called top down. It's just a dark brown. And I, this is only the second time I've used this palette, so it could get messy. We'll see. I'm just going to put that on the outer corner. And um, yeah, she threw up all the bath card. But that evening, she even said something like, what's that? And we were like, what do you mean? And she's like, what's that noise? What's that? What's that? And she had that talk, kind of like if somebody has a hearing impair impairment, that's exactly how she kind of talked. And we thought she might just need speech. And then all this came together. And we're like, oh, well, this is all makes sense now. So she um, was talking about the dishwasher. She had never heard the dishwasher. It was going off, like we were sitting in a chair and it was behind us. And it was going off behind her. And she'd never heard the dishwasher before. So... She would do that things all the time. We would get in the car and the radio would not even be turned up. And she would say, too loud, too loud, and hold her ears. So 
She um, has done really good. She qualified to go to speech at um, Early Childhood, which is just a preschool that we have in the school district. You have to qualify to go and take tests and stuff. So she qualified to go to that. So she went to that for two years. Um, she had one of her tubes kind of like fell off themselves. Was it last year? Or maybe six months ago. I can't remember if it's been six months or it's been a year. I can't remember her last appointment. So um, we've kind of noticed a little bit of regression. Not in speech. Her speech is actually really good. She still ha needs some work. Like, But she, you can really understand her. It's like we always have her say cotton candy. And she'll say cotton tandy. So anything that's got the T's um, or the C's sound like T's. And then instead of saying dog, she'll say gog. But that is great compared to from where she came from. <laughs> I even have videos of her where you're like, oh my gosh, this compared to what she's now. I sent her a video um, to her, not her, I sent a video to her speech teacher at the end of this year because it was her last year going before she goes to kindergarten. And I was like, this is the video from when she started with you and this is the video that I just took last night. And it's just like night and day. So, I mean, her improvement is amazing. But she's been having um, like drainage and stuff coming out of one ear and it's just like, mm. And she said it's been hurting, and I'm a horrible mom because I can't remember which tube it is that they kind of removed. It was, like, just in the canal, so it was just kind of hanging out there. And she was having this drainage and pain, and so they just went in and grabbed it just right in office. They didn't have to do any surgery. Marley had to have her surgically removed. So so we go today to see um, how her hearing is. She'll have a hearing test and then check on that ear. I've been putting those drops in there that they give you when they have tubes. Okay, guys, um, I'm done with just putting that blending those browns in and now I'm actually going to take this elf color corrector primer it's actually for redness it's to cover up redness I should put it all over my nose because my nose is always red but I'm going to put this as a base I think I've talked to you guys in another video and if I haven't it's because I haven't posted yet this one will go up today um that if you're going to put black eyeshadow on put like a black paint pot on or if you want a color to pop put white underneath it I've talked about that with my nails so we're going to use this green and I'm really just going to put it in here. It'll just get the green to pop and kind of lay a foundation down. I think the trash truck is here. Yeah, pretty sure. <laughs> so I'm very excited to see how she's doing. I hope that they, it's something they can continue just to use as drops and check her hearing. And she, when she did her hearing last time, when the one that they took out, she was like borderline, which kind of makes me a little scared today because... She had regressed some since having that tube out. But worst comes to worst, she used to have another set of tubes. Marley's had three sets. Whatever. And Marley hasn't had any in like three years. And she has never had an ear infection. See, Marley had to have her tubes in because... I'm just going to pat that with my finger. Because she had ear infections over and over and over and over and over again. Maisie had her have hers because she couldn't hear. And that just opened up. I don't really know the scientific way. I'm sure somebody else on here would be like, oh yeah, this is why she had to have that because she couldn't hear. So, we'll see how it goes. I'm hopeful. That's for sure. I am hopeful. Okay, so I'm going to take this color called Highway. It's right here, this green color. And I'm going to pack that over the green that I have. So I need a packing blush. So, I, oh, oh, to be honest, this doesn't look like it's... I keep saying to be honest. I can't stop saying it. This one doesn't look like it's going to have a lot of payoff because it's not a lot of pickup on my brush. Maybe it doesn't look too bad. Here we go. Yeah, it's okay. It doesn't have a lot of pigment. So, I actually, I'm just going to lay this down over on both eyes and I'm going to move on to a different color. This is not really what I was thinking. But I might just make this like the lighter color on the inner corner and kind of just make it darker as we go out. This will kind of just lay down that not make it so tacky. Okay, we need a different green. Sorry, Highway, you are not doing it for me. Hey, that's, we can do this one. This one's from that Ultimate Edit palette. I told you guys I've been loving this palette. Like, and it was dirt cheap. It was like $5. Maybe it was $5. It was under like 8 bucks for sure. Because this green, I'm going to pat that right in the middle. Hope you guys aren't being disturbed by the trash truck. We have a lot of trash. There's six of us. So I have accepted a new position as the nurse at a middle, at, no, an elementary school. I used to be the nurse at a middle school. And I've worked in elementary schools multiple times as subbing, but never full time. So yeah, I don't 
think it's going to be the kids that are problem. It might be the staff and the um, parents. <laughs> really just because they want to come to you for everything. And I'm like, my goal is to keep them in class. It's not, I'm, I'm not trying to be lazy. Like if a kid really is sick or has a boo-boo or, you know, a medical need, I am 100% all there. But I like to keep them in class because that's what they're at school for. But I have had in the past as a sub, parents come in and they, oh, Laura, them. Yeah, you just know if you're a teacher or something. You're like, okay, come on. And same with um, staff. Sometimes you're like, they're really okay, I promise. Like, no, they'll want to diagnose a kid. And I'm like, oh, that's not, let's not do that. So we'll see. Lots of Band-Aids we send with elementary teachers. I know that because sometimes a Band-Aid or a mint fixes everything. And not all school districts give mints, but we do. So that starts in just a few weeks. So I'm trying to soak up. This time okay I'm gonna take this light green which is called number 34 it's from makeup geek and I'm gonna put that right on the inner corner and it's makeup geek so you know it has pigment oh yes I'm kind of almost trying to make it just a little ombre I want it to be lighter lightest to darkest I kind of feel like I need another pop of green so I'm gonna go into this color which is number 36 I think these are makeup geek but usually they have names I'm going to put that right here too. Yeah, because I like that. It's a little bit darker. And you can make this matte, or I have a shimmer over here that we could totally pop on, but I think I'm going to keep it matte green. Like so. I set up the tent today outside because it's so beautiful. It was 66 degrees until like 40 minutes ago. So the twins have been out there playing in that, and they just love it. So... Okay, now I'm going to go back into a brown and kind of just blend that. And the brown that I'm using right now is called Frappe, and it is also from Makeup Geek. So I'm just going to go right this outer corner, kind of blend it and flick it up. This, this brown is intense, so you have to be careful. Just get a little bit. And very, very, very light-handed with the brush. So that is my day today. And then I'm going to, if there's, because we are going we have to go downtown to Children's Mercy for this appointment. So if there's enough time, I'm going to take them to Kaleidoscope. Which, if you're not from here, Kaleidoscope is just so much fun. It's owned by Hallmark Cards. Both my parents retired from Hallmark Cards. They were both there like 30 and 35 years or 35 years both. Um, and it's just, it's free and it's just crafts and just a whole bunch of like leftovers that kids can be creative. And it's just the most fun atmosphere, especially when it's free because anybody can go. And I've never been told I couldn't attend. Like you go and they have so many spots and you have to have a little ticket and you go in, but I've been taking my kids for years and I've never been said, uh, oh, never been told. No, oh, you, there's not enough. Okay, guys, that's it for just the eye color. I'm going to do the rest of my face. So I'm going to go ahead and do the foundation while I continue to chat with you. I'll do the under eyes once we get there. This foundation I'm going back to, it's almost gone. So I'm like, would you just use it so you could throw it away or get a new one? But I just like to go all over the place with my foundation. So if we have time and the testing does not take too long, then I will take them to um, Kaleidoscope. I'm trying to like put every single activity that I want to do with them in like two weeks and I work a couple days so um tonight I've talked to Jamie into going to worlds of fun with us because they're doing like a carnival I don't it's not carnival but I've talked him into going with with us he started his Monday through Friday job um yesterday and he has not done Monday through Friday ever since we've been married 20 years yeah, 20 years. Ever. He worked at Fox 4, Fox 4 as an engineer and worked nights. And then he worked the really early morning shift there for a while. I feel like I just need a little bit more on my nose. I sat outside yesterday and I didn't put sunscreen on. I took the kids to pool for like an hour. And I was like, I'm not putting sunscreen on. I need this vitamin D. My soul needed it. But I'm just going to apply just a little extra. So... We're going to maybe get to do kaleidoscope 
and World's Fun Kaleidoscope's 40, 45 minutes or 30 minutes. So it's really short. It's not like an all-day activity. And then sometimes I like to take them to the Candy Barrel, which is over at Crown Center. And I just tell them, uh-oh, I can focus, please. Um, sometimes I tell them, okay, you can pick 20 pieces of candy. I'm probably going to wear my hair up today because I washed it last night and ain't got time to fix it. We'll see. We'll see how bad it is when I take it down. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Becca Under Eye Primer. I'm going to take my sponge. Actually, I'm going to take it on the other side so I do not mix those. That'd be bad. That wouldn't brighten it at all. And I'm just dabbing that underneath. It's very, very tacky. I have not given up on my Jeffree Star Concealer. I still use it all the time. But when you do makeup as much as I do, you just kind of like, I need to change things up. I need to change it up a little bit. Use some other stuff that I have. Okay, where's the brush? I need to blend that out with the other side. Take me to the other side. I'll probably get like flagged or something for singing an Aerosmith song. I don't know what's up with that. Like, shouldn't that be like promoting instead of like copywriting it? Shouldn't it be like promoting a song if you're singing it? Like, if I'm going to sing a song that I like, why did why do they flag it? Why do they take the video down? I'm like, here I am promoting your music. Maybe you're like, ooh, what song is that? And you look it up and you love it and then you want to buy it. Because you, you can just listen to it over and over. You don't hear me sing it. I'm not going to sing the whole thing. I don't know. I don't understand. Okay. So is that too bright? Do I need to add? Yes, I do. I need to turn around and add this. I'm going to bring that down just a notch because it is super, super brightening. I'm going to have to add some powder to it. I knew do need to be. I didn't sleep for like four days straight. I just couldn't sleep. And then we had a thunderstorm and Cece was a crackhead. And last night I actually slept. I was tired. I was so tired. I'm putting on the Patrick Star powder. No. Yes, Patrick Star. Patrick Star, Jeffree Star. It's Patrick. That's from Mac. I don't know if they still have it. But I am patting this underneath. It looks super like bright on this side, which makes me think I almost want to darken it a little bit. But once I put the powder on, it looks okay on camera. But I just said it, so guess what? It stayed, because I knew. Just pat gently into those under eye bags that I have. I would have that procedure, it's not surgery, where they, you can look it up on YouTube, they take almost like a needle or something and poke up here and fill those bags. I would have that in a heartbeat if I had the money. You're so vain, and I bet you thought, can't sing it but you know you know I'm going to fill in my brows just a little bit I feel like they need a little mm, today I haven't plucked them so I don't know what's going on but they feel very thin what's the word I think the kids are playing with their tablets now I feel like I can hear them so my videos will probably not be up every Tuesday I'm gonna try to still post once a week, but it won't be like, hey, it's always going to be on this day because my weeks and my days are never, never the same except for what I'm going to be working. When I come home, you don't know who's going to have doctor's appointments, who's going to have therapy, who's going to have horse therapy, who's going to have OT, Mason's cross country, his track, his golf, you know. I know. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. I always oh, I was going to use this lighter color in this Mar palette just above the brow bone. I need to find a brush that I have not used yet. And here we go. I'm going to put that just above the brown bow. Oh, I was like, this mirror looks really dingy. The paper was still. <laughs> the paper was still in it. I was like, why does this look so dirty? Just a pop of color. This is almost like a golden tint to it, but I really like it because it's very summery. 
Okay, now I'm going to blend that just a little bit with a clean brush because I feel like it's a little intense. Very light-handed. It's not blended. It's not that it's intense. It just looks like a glob instead of blended out. Smoke it out. Smoke it out. Okay, now I'm going to do my lower lash line with... I'm going to um, put this Makeup Geek in my waterline to kind of make your eyes look more open. Sorry if it makes you cringe. One of my eyes like waters and the other one doesn't. So we're going to put that. Where did I put the lid? Oh, found it. I had this green too and it's also Makeup Geek and I think I'm going to put it on the upper. Okay. Get it together, eyeball. It's like fuzzy. Yep, see like that. That is my non-watering eye. Yeah, your eyes sitting there going like, stop shoving stuff in it. It's better if I actually take it and pull it, but I can't do that in camera. And yeah, mm -hmm. so I do it for you. Okay, kids, what am I going to do next? My lower lash line. I cannot get it together. So I'm going to take um, the, this cocoa brown and this top down and mix them. And I'm going to run that under my lower lash line. And I'm going to connect it over here. Like so. And really smoke it. Don't be afraid to drag that down. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Nobody says that anymore. I don't even think that's on the back of anybody's car anymore. They're, they had it there for like, take it off. We're over it. Connect it. You want this always to be connected. Otherwise, it looks like two different things you're doing. Yes. Smoky. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Smoky. Okay, now I'm going to just wipe that off really good, and I'm going to pop in the inner corner of that same highlight. It's right here. I could go green, green, but since I'm actually going to a doctor's appointment, I thought I'll just do some green and brown, and I'm going to wear like a mustard shirt. So I wasn't going to go too crazy, because they'll be like, who are you? How long were we going? This is a very long video. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's do quick. Quick bronze. Quick bronze. I hope this whole week stays as beautiful outside as it has been the last 48 hours almost. I've been looking at, I always spend the night in our tent outside with the littles because they don't ever get to go on camping trips or anything until they're a little bit older. And so... Because I go by myself, Jamie does not camp. <laughs> so I let them stay outside and we watch a movie and have snacks and and then we sleep in there. So I was thinking, I don't know what's going to happen because it's been so hot. I'm just highlighting and this is all with the um, Jaclyn Hill palette. She's been in some trouble. I can't keep up with it all because I don't care, but something about her lipsticks and they were crap and... She still produced them anyways, and she knew, and I don't know. People aren't getting the refunds. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about all that drama. I like the forehead where everything touches. And then, let me close all this up. Curl the eyelashes. Gotta curl them. I do not like this eyelash curler. It's the one I got from Five Below. It works. It's just not great. Okay, I'm going in with that big bang, bad gal bang, <laughs> big girl bang, whatever, mascara. Because I'm going to need it today. I don't like the silence. Because you guys aren't talking back to me and I've got to focus to put mascara on. Anybody else find like watching makeup videos almost like calming? 
Like, should I whisper and do like ASMR? So now I put my bad gal mascara and I'm very sleepy, but it keeps going out of focus. <laughs> and then I laugh and ruin it. These bottom lashes. Like I'm trying not to wake a baby. Okay, lips. I didn't put any brow gel in. <laughs> oh, oh. I put a little color in them, but I didn't put any gel in. I noticed because they weren't, they didn't look as fluffy. When I put brow gel in, they just look, look. Mm hmm That's just from brow gel. Cheap old brow gel. I can't say that there's an expensive one that I've liked more than I like this cheaper one. Okay. Oh, drop on my mirror. Okay, I'm going to take um, this is actually I don't it's by Rimmel, but I can't even tell you. Look how old it is. Like everything's worn off of it. Line my lips. And I'm going to add um what color is this? Lemire by ColourPop. All I can hear is like the air conditioning vent. And then I'm going to put that gloss that I've been loving by Glow. I'm going to put that over it. And that's all after we set it. <laughs> Take a palette or fan and dry it. And that's all, guys. This is the end of my look. Pop of green. Oh, I just love green. You never know what color my eyes are. It's like some days they're green, some days they're brown, some days they're hazel. Depends on what I wear. But they've been green a lot, or hazel, actually, lately. I've asked the twins. I'm like, what color is Mommy's eyes? Dween. That's Maisie. They're dween. Okay, friends. I hope that you learned a new tip today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, do not forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, I love you. You're the bomb.